Well, we've got a lot of interest today because we have an amazing plant flowering, one that you don't see all the time, every few years if you're lucky, Amorphophallus titanum, or the corpse plant, one of its wonderful nicknames. It's called the corpse plant because it kind of smells like a corpse. It, uh, one of its uh, ways to attract pollinators in the Sumatran rainforest is it emits the, an identical mimic of the smell of a dead animal. It's incredible and it's horrible. Well, it's, you know, as a botanical garden, of course, what we specialize in are wonderful, exotic, rare plants from around the world. Particularly, our, our specialty is epiphytes, plant that grow up in the tree canopies. Amorphophallus is not. This is very much a terrestrial plant. But it's, it's unusual. It doesn't bloom that often. It's not that often cultivated. And what's really interesting is that we have not just one, but two blooming right now. Well, the big one, the older one, is called Seymour. And then the newer one, the little one, is called Audrey. So we'll take the pollen from Seymour and use it to fertilize Audrey. Seymour is about six feet tall. Now the world record is over 10 feet tall. So they can get very large and we'll continue to keep growing Seymour and get a bigger and bigger corm. Seymour bloomed uh, last in 2012. The inflorescence will stay open for about three or four days. Then the spathe will close, the spadix will collapse, and then it'll sort of disintegrate unless it's pollinated. Well, it's hard for me to say who's my favorite. Certainly this is a fascinating plant, but just because of its scale and I don't know if we could say majesty, maybe not when you smell it.